Hello, if there is one ingredient that is used throughout the world, around the globe, and has been used since 8000 BC, and is used today in restaurants, kitchens, and uh, even in cosmetics, it's olive oil. Olive oil is everywhere, and yet it's probably one of the most misunderstood ingredients and uh, food items in the world as well. Very few people really understand the difference in the range of quality in olive oil and the range what it can do for you or maybe what it can't do for you. So every authority out there has something to say about olive oil. And while I'm not an authority, I'm certainly an expert because I have been involved. I have deep Mediterranean roots, been involved in olive growing, harvesting, producing, I've stood in front of many producers, watched how they produce, and uh, have been involved in Italy as well as the United States regarding olive oil. Many people are just really wasting time and energy and consuming um, the fat of the olive uh, without realizing that uh, there's a big range of quality. So what I would like to do is give you some expert advice about olive oil and to help you to better understand it. After listening to this video and downloading the, um, the document that says how to avoid the 10 most biggest mistakes when buying olive oil, you will be more educated about olive oil than anyone else, probably 98% of the people walking around and uh, looking for a quality olive oil for their kitchens um, and mainly it's used for culinary. You can't even go to hardly a restaurant today and olive oil is brought to you at the table with some bread and some cheese and oil and really few of us really understand the quality of that oil. So you've probably heard the controversy. You know, olive oil is really good for you. Use it without abandon. Or olive oil is terrible for you. Or any oils. Don't use any because it's, it's terrible. It'll give you, uh, it'll make you sick. Um, or organic olive oil is the best olive oil to use. Or USDA, it has to be USDA. Or EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. That's the one. Um, look for Brand X. Brand X is good. Uh, Greek olive oil is the best. Moroccan olive oil. Italian olive oil. Those are the ones. You know, you have one or the other. Um, you know, all of this advice and all of what we hear really doesn't help at all. And none of it is a good summary about olive oil. So none of it at all, but I would like to provide that information to you so you don't make mistakes. So let's start with the olive. First of all, olive oil is made from a fruit, from a stone fruit, from olives. And it needs to be, it should be grown organically, that would be the best, and should be picked not mechanically, where um, a, a net is put over an olive tree and the tree is shook and every olive falls off. Ideally, it should be picked by hand and it should be picked when it's at its ripeness, when it reaches that purple color because that's when the anthocyanins and the polyphenols are the highest in the olive. And then we press that olive to get oil. But the quality of the oil depends on how that olive is grown and pressed and processed and where it comes from, how it's shipped and what kind of a container it's put in. It's all very, very important. So every tablespoon of olive oil, just keep in mind, has 120 calories. So it's 120 calories of pure fat that comes from the olive. Fortunately, the fat is mainly monounsaturated and polyunsaturated, which is a plant-based fat, which is good for you. It's 14% saturated fat, but the mono and polyunsaturated fat is really what makes it so ideal as a good oil. Um, what really has health benefits for it are the polyphenols, and polyphenols are antioxidants, and they come from the olive, as I said, when it's at the peak ripeness, right color, uh, processed right, they say cold process because you don't want to heat it. And when, an, uh, when the olives are not ground by a stone. 8,000 years ago, olive oil was made by grinding it with a stone, either by hand or with a big wheel. And I, I have pictures of olive, wheel, olive stone 
suppressors that are you know thousands and thousands of years old. Today we've perfected that. Today if we press it and we cold press it and we press it at the right temperature and without chemicals, we can preserve those polyphenols. And that's what's so important to make olive oil what it is today. That gives it its health benefits. As far as a culinary use, I know that cooks have always um, wanted to use an olive oil that is has high polyphenol, it has high smoke point, and I'm getting ahead of myself because the way you get a high smoke point is with high polyphenols. So the fresher, the better the olive oil is, the more poly polyphenols, the higher you can cook. I'm, I don't quite understand that because I don't fry anything and I really just lightly saute or I put all, a drizzle of olive oil on vegetables after they have been uh, grilled, lightly grilled or roasted. So I, I'm not quite sure about this high smoke point. Many chefs have moved to avocado oil because they say that it is uh, has a higher smoke point. Again, we don't know what the polyphenol count is in um, avocado oil. There are no standard um, exceptions that we follow in the United States that we that where we're testing olive oil that's coming into the United States. So we really don't have that information. But you can buy olive oil that is high polyphenol. And if you know what you're looking for and you follow some some guidelines, you can you can still find it. But it's probably not going to be found in a big box store with 40 other brands that are on the shelf of all this olive oil that's coming into the United States. So let's go back to the processing of the olive. So the olive is pressed, it's cold pressed, and it is, should be pressed within eight hours of picking because that's before you, you don't lose the polyphenols that way, the olives are fresh. And it should come from one source. So when we hear that it should be Greek or Italian or Moroccan or whatever it is, it should be one source. But if you read the label on the bottle of olive oil that you may have in your cabinet right now, you may find that those olives have come from multiple countries. And there's even labeling now where they have a little code as to which country the olive oil is coming from. Well, if an olive, if an olive oil is produced from olives of many countries, it's probably not being produced within eight hours of picking. It's probably be putting in 30 gallon containers and shipped to one place. Italy, for example. Italy has huge capacity for pressing olives. However, Italy cannot serve the entire world. So various countries are sending their olives to Italy. Italy packs, Italy presses and packs them. And on the bottle, it'll say packed in Italy. That doesn't mean it's Italian olives. It doesn't mean you know where the olives came from unless you look at the uh, label. And in addition to that, you should know the harvest date because olive oil gets rancid and it can get old and it lasts about, good olive oil will last about a year after it's produced. So unless there's a harvest date on the bottle, um, you don't know when that olive oil was produced and you don't know how fresh it is at all. So I have a document, I'm gonna put a link in the description that is going to give you all of this little detail and a checklist. You can take it with you to the grocery store and see if you can find the very best olive oil uh, possible. And the same thing with the avocado oil. Um, you know, take a, the same goes for it. If you're looking for avocado oil for a high smoke point, same thing um, applies. However, again, a lot of avocado oil is produced in the United States or Mexico, but that oil is not tested. It's not analyzed for polyphenols. In Italy, there's actually a, a government agency that will go into, a harvest, go into a producer at harvest time and take samples of olive oil, bring those samples back to the laboratory and give the producer a report as to what the polyphenol count is on that olive oil. So it should be at least 500, should be at least 500, 700, 1,000. I found one recently that is 7,000, which is the highest polyphenol count I've ever, uh, I've ever encountered. So uh, if, the, if the label says DOP, that's a good sign. That means determination of production 
has been followed through, and that's an Italian designation, or DOC, designation of control, how those olives were grown, how they were pressed, how they've been packaged. Olive oil should never come in a plastic bottle. Uh, plastic will etch the oil, and a clear bottle will, the, the fluorescent lights in a grocery store will dissipate any nutrients that are left in that olive oil. So it should be in a dark bottle, dark colored glass bottle. And, um, and lastly, lastly, I would say buying the biggest bottle of olive oil at the lowest price is not a good idea. Uh, unless you can follow what's on the checklist and make sure that you have your, all of your detail in order before you purchase the olive oil, um, you really don't know what you're buying. So thank you for listening and coming by my YouTube channel. If you like this, this YouTube, please subscribe. You would make me extremely happy. Not that that's part of what you're living for, but I would love for you to subscribe so that I can continue to give good advice and uh, expert advice based on the things that I'm deeply um, entrenched with as a board certified nutritionist. Thank you so much.